Hello, I'm Devin Harris. I'm a senior security analyst on the risk and field security team here at GitLab. Since I'm recording this for the risk and field security team, hopefully you know who I am. If not, let's schedule a coffee chat, catch up and get to know one another. Um, today we're going to be going over uh, how to propose a new question to a how to propose a new response to a question that has been asked on the security standard answer uh, RFP system. Uh, in the last video, we walked through triaging that question. We're going to be using our run book today. Uh, I'm currently recording the video walkthrough. So we already triaged the issue. That's good to go. All right, the next thing we want to do is create a merge request from the issue. I've linked to GitLab's documentation here, but this is really simple. You just create a merge request from the issue. Uh, what I like to do here is I like to open in a new tab, and I'll show you why in a minute. So we've done that. Now we want to create an answer file. Um, so we can do that two different ways. You can create a file here. You can also create a file in the web IDE. I prefer the web IDE, uh, so I'm going to do it that way. So the question's pretty straightforward. And the issue that we're answering is 29. So I'm gonna go to the answers file and just make sure there's no 29, there's not. And then I'm gonna go ahead and create a new file in the answers folder, 29 dash. And then make sure we give a text extension to that and create the file. All right, now we have a nice blank document. We're gonna grab the contents of the template answer file and we're gonna paste that into our newly created file. Um, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna replace these square brackets with the question. Uh, the short answer obviously to this question is no. But I developed a good detailed response for that this morning. Uh, so I'm gonna copy that from my text editor and paste, paste it in real quick. One of you will actually be getting the merge request to review this and you'll find out who you are in the next video because I am going to assign this to you and, and go through that process. Um, I have a couple references that I linked out to for this answer. I forgot to delete these two. All right, so we've got our question, short and detailed answer, and we have our references. This file looks good. I'm going to commit this file and I'm going to say answer number 29. Oh, let's do this. All right. So you see my re merge request has finished. We're here. On the next video, we will walk through collaborating with a subject matter expert on um, an answer file. And I'll record that here shortly. Thank you.